Hello everyone, this is me, Satya here, and I'm doing your monthly reading for the month of December 2021. This reading is going to be for the sign of Aries. So Aries, let's see what is coming up for you for the month of December. I will be adding oracle cards, plus I will be adding uh, color cards as well to give you additional guidance around what color could be lucky for you in the month of December. So stay tuned, and now while I shuffle the cards, let me remind you, it's a general read. Hitman, it may not resonate with everyone out there. So always pick the signs and messages that resonate and leave the rest. For personal reads, you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can also check out other services that I offer as well in the description box. So let's see how the month of December is going to be for you guys. Let's begin. <clears throat> let's see the hair fund i feel like you know, it's going to be a beautiful month uh, to connect yourself to the higher self um and seek guidance seek um help seek knowledge information um i feel like you know, it's going to be a beautiful month to increase your information knowledge around any area of your life especially if you are in a field where you know you need to acquire knowledge around you know further knowledge around it maybe it's going to be a beautiful month to get yourself onto that new journey where you study more where you learn more because i feel like you know it's going to be a beautiful month for that now if um, if it applies to a situation that you're really needing some guidance help from the divine i feel like you know, it's high time that you ask for that uh you shall receive the guidance that you need um the universe is really helping you guiding you already but maybe your your receiving uh mode is turned off by by you overthinking about certain things by you uh having unhealthy habits of uh you know overthinking overindulging into you know alcohol or any of those sort of things um it can be energy of your person as well but i feel like you know it's it, it is something very unhealthy that you really need to break free from and the universe has been guiding you helping you around it be receptive to that um let's see more cards here the magician wow eight of wands two of cups wow i feel like you know, it's, it's going to be a beautiful month if you could um use the power that you have from within given by the heavens by the god that you believe in uh to manifest to create the life that you desire you will be surprised to see the results there make sure you use affirmations for whatever it is that you desire for yourself seek guidance like i already said because it's going to be a magical month um you you will have a lot of uh, control over your life again if you need guidance seek guidance uh, but yes, I feel like you know, for majority of you who have been manifesting things in your life, this month is going to be magical because uh, because you will be having a lot of, uh, you know, uh, excitement, passion, uh, uh, information to create more of what you desire. You would know all the tools and techniques to make it happen. So it's going to be a very easy month for you that way because the moment you think of a thought, it will manifest. Make sure your thoughts are very much aligned to what you desire, not the exact opposite of what you desire so make sure you know where you are doing things wrong make sure you know what you need to do especially with the hair fund here it's high time that you know what are the things that you need to do seek help guidance if you need around whatever it is that you desire because i feel like you know for some of you maybe you already know it because there is a magician next to it as well for others of you you need to tap into the powers that you are given by the heavens again maybe you need some guidance around it I feel like, you know, if uh, there has been delays in your love life, I do see magical shifts coming in, magical uh, moments coming in your love life. Communication is coming in, growth is coming in, love offer is coming in. So it's going to be a beautiful, beautiful month overall. But yes, before you could have it, before you could, uh, you know, welcome it in your life, this is something very important. This is very, 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 it's, it's more like, you know, this is the key which is going to unlock these good stuff coming up for you in your life make sure you use the key now if you want to uh, if you want to you can always make a habit or a ritual uh, where you meditate every single day uh, before sleeping or as uh, as uh, as soon as you wake up in the morning but I, I would suggest you to have it in the night before you fall asleep um, where you see guidance, where you affirm whatever you want to manifest in your life, and then you fall asleep. Listen to the signs and messages coming from the divine through your signs, uh, through different signs, 
through your dreams, through uh, the songs that you hear uh, on, uh, on uh, in the day, uh, the guidance will be coming in. Now, um, I feel like, you know, uh, if, if there has been a person that you have been in no communication with, the communication with that specific someone might also come in. Now, if you are open to date someone through social media and stuff, like, you know, different apps and everything, I feel like, you know, there is a possibility of you meeting someone online as well in the in the month of December where you can have to, you know, um, uh, where you can have a possibility of having something beautiful coming out of that situation as well. Let's see more cards here. Death. <clears throat> I do see a bad phase of your life ending in the month of December for majority of you. Uh, let's see some more cards. Four of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles. Your manifestations. Wow. They are they are rocking. Like, you know, it's just more like um you will be manifesting things very quickly. Now make sure you are keeping healthy diet as well in the in the month of December because it's gonna amplify the, the manifestations as well. It will make the manifestation come quick. Mental diet and the, you know, the other diet as well. I feel like and it's very important for you to keep a check of that. So you could be in that zone where you could manifest even quicker uh, than usual. Um, I would suggest you to do one more thing here. Make sure whatever it is that you're trying to manifest, keep it to yourself. Don't share it out until unless it is done. <clears throat> A beautiful offer coming your way it can be a love offer for some of you it can be a work offer for others of you as well if you are a student i feel like you know you will be getting a beautiful opportunity to get ad admission in your ideal uh university or something i do see that this month is going to be very abundant uh let's see more cards here the king of pentacles and the page of pentacles <clears throat> Let's see some more cards. If there is a specific someone in your love life that you really want to manifest, um, the only thing which is stopping you there is you getting confused. At times you feel like maybe you need to move on. At times you feel like, no, I want to manifest this one person only. So the delay there is just because you are sometimes becoming indecisive there. Make sure you can, you could, uh, you could, uh, you know, make a plan, make a decision and just stick to that decision. Now it's very important because I feel like, you know, for some of you, your love life delays could be because of the indecisiveness that you have around it. Um, keep yourself strong. Again, if you need guidance uh, around, you know, making a decision around it, maybe you can get the guidance before uh, before you uh, uh, get decisive around it, um, or until unless you get, you know, uh, get to a decision around it, you will not have it. So make sure you know what do you want, a past person, a new person, and then stick to that decision. Um, <clears throat> I feel like you know for some of you a person from the past is coming in as well um especially a person who has disappointed you in the past maybe they have blocked you um that person is coming in your life again um now for some of you maybe maybe you are stuck in your past as well and uh, maybe that is making you indecisive like you know sometimes you want a past person sometimes you want a new person if that has been the case i feel like it's high time that you make that decision now for some of you you are going to be the one reaching out to a past person in the month of december or it can be you manifesting a communication from the past person as well so um be ready and prepare to receive some sort of message communication coming from the past person as well but um Whatever it is that you desire, make sure you clear it out to that person. You know, what, whenever they reach out, whenever they approach you, make sure you stand your ground because it is very important. Because if you really don't want to repeat a cycle from the past, you have to deal with the situation a different way. Where you have to be very clear in your, um, in your intention around this connection. Or if you are giving a chance to this person, you should be very clear what do you want with them. Um, and if they are ready to give in, go ahead have that new beginning with this person but if they don't want it what you know exactly how you want it then maybe you can move on um but again make sure you are clear in your head 
whatever it is that you want, a past person or a new person, and then manifest it. Because I feel like, you know, this month is going to be um, having a lot of gifts um, of heavens uh, to offer. Especially if you are a manifester, you can manifest whatever you desire. If you want to manifest a person from the past, you can have them. If you want to manifest them with an offer of love, of stability, you can have that as well. All you need to do is to be sure of what you desire and then just stick to that. Underneath the deck, we do have the Page of Cups. Underneath that, we do have Queen of Wands and the King of Swords and the Sun. I feel like, you know, uh, there is a specific someone um, that might be coming in from the past. I feel like, you know, this person might be coming in very strong. But um, would they be ready this time? That's going to be a different situation for everyone out there. But yeah, let's see what color could be lucky for you in the month of uh, December. What color could be lucky for you in the month of December? White, lighten up, number 24. 24th of December could be a significant date. White color is going to be lucky for you. Plus, try to lighten up yourself in many varied ways. Again, especially if you if you uh, want, you can uh, use white candles as well as you meditate, especially at that time. Because that too is going to help you lighten up whatever stress that you are having around any area of your life. And you would be able to tap into the beauty of the nature of the universe so you could receive signs and messages clearly. So yeah, let's see more oracle cards. Let's see what else do we have. Confidence is your key to success. For some of you, it could be dealing with the Leo as well. It's very important for you to get confident in whatever you desire. Whatever you want to manifest, you can definitely have it. But yes, you need to be confident around it first. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Um, more oracle. Perception. It's high time that you change where you change your perception about your life overall. Start having a beautiful perspective about anything and everything that happens. Delays. Think of the delays as a, as a sign of a blessing coming your way. Bigger than what you have asked for. So just, just change your perception from the ones that you are having right now to the ones that are desirable. So whatever you have, uh, whatever you want to come through, make sure if, if you see something going against that, Make sure you look at that from a positive perspective as if it's a it's a different route to what you desire by the heavens. Like, you know, um, maybe you wanted to go from A to Z, but this is a different route. God wants you to go from A to M and then M to Z. So just believe in the process. So one last card. Let's see what else is the oracle guidance for you in the month of December. Let's see. Healthy lifestyle. Eat a healthful diet. Get adequate sleep and exercise regularly for optimal health. Again, make sure you you are living a healthy lifestyle in the month of December. Don't overeat because if you are overeating or if you are eating any fatty foods, uh, it's it's uh, it's not going to keep you light. And if it's not keeping you light, you will be closed off to receive any signs and messages coming from the heavens. Why? Because uh, if you are feeling lethargic, you will be unable to pick up signs that heaven, uh, signs that uh, heavens are going to start, you know, try to send to you. Make sure you are eating healthy, having a healthy lifestyle, so you would be able to receive the signs and messages as well. So that's pretty much just coming up for you for this uh, month of December time. If it helped you to like, share, and subscribe, if you are willing to purchase any of the services that I offer, check the description box for that. Till I do the next reading for you guys. Take care. Bye.